What's happening, Hot Wheelers? Joe Motor 49 back with uh, a little more yakking than cracking today, but I thought we would uh, take a look at some haulage here that I've been uh, doing over the last couple of days. You can see I've been doing a little M2, been uh, stacking up on the M2, uh, just been going nuts over these auto haulers. I'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, but uh, we went uh, to a couple of different towns and found a few different things. Nothing major, no showstoppers, but. Uh, few pretty interesting things. Um, the other day I had to go to the town that's about 30 miles away for work. I had a little extra time so I stopped at a few places. I uh, went back to the Walmart where I found those two twin mill supers and I found finally found this uh, the stock car regular. Uh, wasn't my favorite treasure hunt of the year but I knew it had to be in there. I just needed more time to look through. So uh, it's a weird looking thing. It's got a clear body and everything so it's kind of cool. Uh, worth having one, I guess. There's the Treasure Hunt logo there on the back. You've all seen that. Um, and then I hit a couple of Walmarts where they had dump bins out and uh, thoroughly gone through. I mean, they were they were very much raided. They had a few pieces around. Got a few Zamax left over, like this uh, Chevelle SS wagon, which is a fantastic piece. And I don't understand. Growing up, uh, station wagons were the most uncool thing ever and now that I'm older wagons are awesome like they're just amazing so cracking this one especially these Zamac wagons um, they just they they seem heavier even though they're not but they're just beautiful I love these Zamax somebody mentioned the other day about doing a Zamax super like an exclusive Zamax super that would be really cool I mean I guess the the uh, the Walmart mail-in, some of those pieces, the, the Zamac exclusives are exactly that, but anyway, just an idea. Anyway, that's a beautiful, beautiful piece, and I'm glad to have that. I don't, I stopped collecting all the Zamacs just because, but uh, that one is pretty awesome. I picked up another one of these, the Barracuda Formula S. There were tons of these, so um, I really don't think these are going to be that rare. I'm cracking this one. I've been wanting to crack one. Uh, but I was thinking these were going to be like kind of commemorative rare pieces. Only one per case, but there were like half a dozen of them in, in several of the dump bins I looked in. But this is a beautiful piece. It's definitely worth picking up. This is modeled off of, I can't remember his name and I didn't look it up. It's like Phil Ryman or something. He designed the Drag Dairy. And there's a the exact same colorway on the drag dairy that was the convention piece. There's his signature, um, and it's very expensive. It's like going for three figures or more nowadays, but it's got this colorway on it. So if you have that piece, you may want to pick this one up to go with it. But I really like this. This is nice, nice basic car here, and uh, that's going in the display right there. What else do we find? Okay, so then I hit a uh, um, what is it called? Uh, an HEB. It's a grocery store, and every once in a while they get short cards. And sometimes, you know, I like picking up short card pieces when um, there's some cool models. So I did just that. I found me some J case, and nothing. Um, Nothing like a good little short card piece here. There's the SWAT band. Here is the red bone shaker. Don't really collect bone shakers, but that just looked awesome on short card. I love finding some cool short card stuff. Uh, here's the Honda Civic short card. And then this one is such a cool short card piece. This little Morris Mini. I only found one of them. But that is so cool. Is that not cool on the short card? I mean, it's perfect. This thing was meant to be on short card. And it's got some tampo issues on the top, which is a little disappointing, but it's still... This little car was made for short card, if you ask me. And then I scored a little bit here and found a couple of short card Snoopies. Check this out. And that's even another little model that works perfect for the short card. It's just a cute little piece on a cute little card. Look at that. Of course, you have all the choking hazards because Snoopy... You know, your kids are going to choke on Snoopy. Don't let them play with this thing. But that's pretty awesome. I never found the regular long card version of this because J-Case never hit here. So I found a couple of short card ones, and that's that's pretty awesome. 
I really like that a lot. So that was Friday, and I had a little extra time at work. I uh, also hit a target there, and then I went to another town, which is further away today, just because I was itching to go hunting. You know, we got to feed our addictions. But um, So I went there, and I went to the target first thing. Now, the target yesterday, uh, which is usually really crappy, I, I hit the pegs, nothing there, and then I found they have this like miniature dump bin, and it was completely bare except there was one of these sitting right there on top. Ford Fiesta Treasure Hunt, K Case Treasure Hunt. Nothing else of note, just this. So I thought this must be the pity hunt. If you've uh, watched my other videos, you know, the pity hunt is the one treasure hunt that the guy before you leaves behind after he's taken all the supers and treasures and cool pieces. So, you know, I appreciate it. At least, at least it was worth it to pick up the one treasure hunt, especially a cool one like this. I really do like the Ford Fiesta. Um, and this colorway is pretty cool. I'm, I'm down with it. But the reason I uh, said that is um, then when I went to this other town today, which is further away, I hit the target first thing. And again, nothing anywhere, hardly. And there were a bunch of cars laying out on the bottom shelf and there was nothing there. I went to the pegs and there was another one right on the front of the pegs. So I must have hit two pity hit treasure hunts back to back and what's funny is well I mean it's weird that I go to one target in one town and there's one of these then I go to the target like a hundred miles away from that and there's one of these but the weirdest thing is that the last time I found a treasure hunt the only other time I found a treasure hunt at Target was last summer and guess which one it was it was the Ford Fiesta from the end case it was the uh, the red one so something about targets and Ford Fiestas and treasure hunts in me. I don't know what it is, but I like having two of these. This is a decent looking treasure hunt, and uh, I probably don't need any more. And if, if it had been the stock car or something, I probably would have left it, but those two are awesome, so I grabbed them. I will accept the pity treasure hunt. And then there was a huge dump bin at the Walmart I went to in the town today. Huge. Um, and it had been thoroughly gone through, but I did finally fi find the roll cage variation, one of them. Just one Skyline roll cage variation. What I find cool about this is um, that these are both from the K case. This has no roll cage and this has the roll cage. And they're both from K case. Let's see if I can show you that. Make sure. Both from K case. So that's just really cool to me because they released this in K. I believe this was the first time the black one appeared in the K case. So you know they ran however many thousand with the leftover roll cage, right? And then they ran out of the roll cage, so they went back to the normal setup here. Um, so it's fun to see that transition within a case code, you know what I mean? Instead of uh, seeing this in the L and this in the K or whatever. It's just cool to have that in one case code. But I've never, you know, this is the only one I've found. Everything else is, does not have the roll cage, so that must be the rarer run. I also expected them to go back to a four-seater since this is a street car as opposed to a race car, but whatever. Anyway, that was fun to find. Um, and then as you can see back here, oh wait, let me show you this. Don't be fooled. This is a beautiful ultra-red Dodge Viper from the basic line of Auto World. It's not a chase piece though. It's got to have the white stripes on top. But man, does it look like a chase piece or what? beautiful Dodge Viper. Now I don't collect these so if you're a Viper guy let me know. Um, and I was pretty sure this wasn't the chase but I went ahead and picked it up. I think it was like two bucks or three bucks I don't remember but um, I was I thought I'll just grab it just in case but then I remembered that it's got to have the white the extra white on it to be the chase ultra red so anyway don't be fooled by that unless you really like the Viper. I mean it's beautiful it looks like a chase piece um, then I hit a store that carries a lot of different stuff and die casts from time to time and I picked up some of these. These are um, M2 display cases, which is pretty cool. Uh, they don't really, they're very generic. They don't come with screws, first of all, and uh, they don't necessarily fit everything. They do come with the little twisty ties. I don't know if you can see down in there. Uh, you can see the twisty ties, but it's pretty cool. I didn't, these, I bought the these trucks loose showed in another video and I um, just stuck them down on there so now I have um, now I have these in an acrylic case they don't really fit perfectly but they're okay they'll work for now 
it prevents me from having to buy the whole other lot of those. Um, and then at that shop, I also picked this piece up. This piece is actually really cool. And um, I'm going to crack this sucker. But this is from Greenlight Entertainment, the uh, Zine Machines, where they uh, replicate a car that is on the front of a vintage hot rod magazine here. And we've seen pieces like this before in different lines. But there's the, the green Mustang here. Ford Mustang Mach 1, which is, I'm not really a Mustang guy, but the Mach 1 is definitely my favorite one. And it is awesome. It's got a cool banana yellow with blacked out tires. And look at the, um, the Golf Tampo here. That is so cool. And then you can see the um, other little Tampos, tiny little details. I guess these are the drivers here. Brock, Autumn, and Thompson. And then you've got the Mach 1 detail right here. I love that little Golf sticker though. And then you've got the trim. Uh, beautiful car. I am going to crack this. I'll probably show it in, in another video. Just loose, but uh, don't have time right now. There's the Mustang insignia there on the front grille. Got the green light uh, steamroller tires, which um, you know is the exact opposite of Auto World. I think the Auto World, some of them are too thin. By the way, they are thickening up their tires if you read the treasure hunt, um, thunted.com. Uh, but these are like steamroller tires, so uh, the backs aren't so bad, but on front, not great. But the detail on the back of that uh, Mach 1, fantastic. So um, there you have that. That's a beautiful piece. I'm stoked about that and glad I picked it up. I debated. Kind of crack that. I'll show it to you in the next video maybe, but it's getting to be 10 minutes here. And let me just sneak peek you. I'm going to do a separate video on the auto haulers. I went a little nuts with them, but look at these two things. Awesome. Autofaz Garage showed this one. Uh, this one's got a Torino in it. This one is uh, the um, chase piece, Father's Day chase piece, which I found another one. I found one of these a couple of weeks ago. And look over here. We found a, this was a few, this was actually a couple of weeks ago I found this one. But I'll, I'll show that in the next video too, I guess. Studebaker Chase piece. Uh, just happened to hit an, a brand new fresh case packing. Um, don't do it that often. But uh, there's your pink Chase. This is the basic line, so these are the cheap, uh, cheap boxes. But still, limited to 500 pieces. Sweet little pink Studebaker there. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for this one. I'm going to come back later, do a little... I'm going to actually crack one or two of these. I haven't decided yet. Show them up close because these are fantastic pieces. And uh, they gotta, they got to have some, uh, gotta have some uh, camera time. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.